Now at 4.30, a deadly wreck taking yet another devastating turn. A crash killing a teen driver. And days later, it has now claimed the life of a 14-year-old girl who police, police say was a passenger in that car. 7's Gail Levy is live. She's in southwest Miami-Dade with more on this heartbreaking development. Gail. Well, guys, throughout the day, many people have trickled by this memorial now to leave candles, flowers, a teddy bear, or balloon to remember now two of their dear friends. I'm just trying to accept, like, the reality of, of everything. Joshua Keltz is trying to accept the reality that he will never hug his little sister again. We didn't really grow up with a father, so I was, I was really like a father figure. I, I kind of, I raised her. She was just my baby. Joshua was two years older than his 14-year-old sister, Jasmine Keltz. I'm just going to live in her, in her name. She was the passenger in this Audi when 15-year-old Anthony Jaden Gago was behind the wheel of his mom's car. Not long before the early Wednesday morning crash, police got a call about a silver Audi. Once officers were in the area, they were able to see a vehicle that matched the description on Miller traveling eastbound at a high rate of speed. Officers were about to conduct a traffic stop, but before they could, the car took off speeding and smashed into these concrete pillars near 118th Avenue and Southwest 56th Street hitting it with such force that the engine was ripped from the car. The mangled car towed away Wednesday morning. Wednesday night, crowds came together to mourn Anthony. <laughs> Thursday night, dozens returned to the site near the crash, now to mourn their dear friend and loved one, Jasmine. She passed away just a day after she was taken to the hospital. My sister, like, she's beautiful. I would just describe her as beautiful all around. Now Josh knows his sister and Anthony are looking down on their loved ones, and he prays that no other family has to go through his pain. Take it as a lesson more than anything. You know, when your parents are hard on you and they're telling you not to go out, it's, it's just because they care. They don't want you to end up like how my friend and my little sister had ended up. Both families have set up GoFundMes to help them get through these difficult times and to also cover the funeral costs. If you're interested in donating, we have attached the links to those GoFundMes on our website, WSVN.com. Live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Gail Levy, 7 News.